Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be diving into why I believe Evernote still rocks and why I think it's the best filing cabinet in the world. So let's dive into today's video. So guys, first off, if you're brand new here, please do hit subscribe. It would honestly be great to have you in this community. We are approaching 100,000 in which we will be doing a giveaway, which I'm really excited for. So you're probably wondering the topic of this video, best filing cabinet. Now, this is actually something that someone put in the comments. I actually really appreciated somebody putting that there because it really helped me reframe Evernote as a total because I was really viewing it for me at least as a note-taking application and for me I wasn't using it as a note-taking application so I, I really found it hard to be able to call it that myself and that's for my own use but filing cabinet is a great way and demonstration to use it it's something that Steve Dollo actually touched on when we did a video about it he actually referenced it as what's called a legacy application an application that you had to use for the sake of using it forced to Evernote is blessed they've got people who have their life's work invested in Evernote stored in Evernote so those people aren't going to go anywhere unless Evernote goes away it's too much effort for them to move, but they run the risk of becoming the app that we use because we have to use, not because we want to use. And I think they're well down that path unless they change soon. And that's very much how I'm using it these days. Actually, I really like using it, but the issue is, is I always have to use it in a sense because I want to be able to store all my stuff there, but it's not necessarily the best user experience at the moment, at least. The first of those features is the notebook organization. Now, I think organizing your notebooks is a really nice demonstration of why it is the best filing cabinet in the world. I really like how you can organize them in stacks. I also like how you can apply tags to them as well. But what it reminds me of, it reminds me of that traditional filing cabinet setup, which a lot of people use in the office. It reminds me uh, whenever I use it, at least I view it in list view. So I can scroll through all of the different notebooks that I have and I can take full advantage of the notebook organization. I think it's very similar to how our minds are organized as well. Although to some extent, I do think the way that Notion is set up is more the way our brains think. I think it's definitely still a really useful way to organize all of your notebooks. Now the second killer feature inside of Evernote, which makes it so valuable and definitely has helped me in the last couple of months at least, is the search uh, functionality. Now the search is so advanced, it can pick up anything from handwriting to what's inside of Word documents or PDFs. And it's really, really helpful when you're searching for a very specific note or a file that you've made a long, long time ago. And this has definitely been very much my experience the last couple of months. I've been saving things like receipts into it and also useful documents like electoral information, government information, things like that, that I can file and find for later really easily using the search function. Now, this actually has even made me not in the last three months really paid much attention to organizing stuff in files now i definitely have dumped a lot of stuff in inbox but i haven't really made a conscious effort to really spend more time organizing it however this week i do plan on doing how i use evernote video which should hopefully allude to how i'm currently using it and taking advantage of the application in making it the best filing cabinet out there so there's two more features that I really like. The third is the clipper abilities. Now, if you compare the clipper abilities to say Notion, it's really uncomparable. You can only really clip links. And obviously when you save that link into Notion, Notion doesn't really do too much with it. It's clipper abilities are really basic for now, but Evernote is an absolute sweet spot. They've done such a great job with being able to create this clipper that allows you to do 
really great things with it, like screenshot and annotate, be able to tag stuff, be able to put it in the relevant notebook, and also, you know, bookmark and turn into different formats. For example, you know, simplified note, which is something a lot of people like, simplified article. And, uh, you know, you're really taking it a step further, especially when it comes to research. And I always point people to do that uh, when they're using it for research purposes. Okay, number four, and what I would say is the key feature for me is document scanning. I still absolutely love Evernote's inbuilt camera. I don't actually use Scannable, but it is available and I do recommend using it. The document scanner inside of Evernote works like a dream and it captures stuff perfectly. And what I particularly like about it as well is, for example, you want to crop the corners in you can do of a certain document and it is actually really accurate and you can actually change it into different formats like color document or black and white document. I've been using this one for years and I love capturing receipts in it because it can be done in like five minutes and, and then I can go onto the platform and convert that receipt into a PDF, which I then can upload to my accountant. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to that about that in the how I use Evernote video. But when you look at applications like Notion, like it's good, but there's zero document scanning abilities, which is the main reason I don't upload files to Notion. I'll talk about more about that in the Evernote versus Notion video we're hopefully releasing this week. So obviously guys, a lot of people ask me like, why have I changed my tune on Evernote? And I guess the reason is because I neglected it as a tool over a period of time because of all of the death spiral news. Um, Evernote I haven't been in touch or anything, but I just feel like I should cover it still because I still think it is, and the way that someone helped me phrase it, the best filing cabinet for me. Um, and, and that leads me on to my final question, which a lot of people are probably asking. Now the final question is, why not use something like Dropbox or Google Drive? Now, I actually use Google Drive as my platform to store stuff. I really love Google Drive, been using it since the school days, and I find it a great way to upload large files, create collaborative documents, and also um, be able to create spreadsheets occasionally, um, really only for specific use, like for example, if I'm actually sharing it and I don't necessarily wanna invite someone to a new Notion page. So I do use Google Drive and I find it a really valuable experience for organizing most of my work. And I still use things like the Power Method to organize that, although it has recently been a very sloppy organization, which I definitely need to clean up. But as you can imagine, I'm referencing Evernote as a best filing cabinet, but a filing cabinet per se could be a storage platform like Dropbox or Google Drive. So the way that I see it for me is Google Drive is for large files and creating documents that are collaborative because the editing abilities in Google Drive are very universal and allow you to share with other people. Whereas I see Evernote as a way to clip documents, easy to access files that I can share with other people very easily, but also that I can quickly access on my mobile when I'm on the go. And I use Notion like more of a brain in being able to see what is going on in terms of my current activities of projects and goals and things like that. So guys, I am planning to do a Evernote how I use that, um, hopefully in the next day or two. And then we're gonna put together a Evernote versus Notion feature 2019, at which I'm gonna be talking more about the traditional uses of Evernote and where and how you can apply it. Because a lot of people are having that question at the moment, should I be using Notion? And there's a use case for both of them. And I think you can use them together like I do. Um, but in the same case, I don't want to make it too overcomplicated. So that video should iron out a few things for you. So guys, a big thank you for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I look forward to making the next two videos and I will talk to you guys very soon. If you are not subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. And if you want to follow any other videos, I'll put a few in this recommendations area. But I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, everyone.